brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So it is expected that um, possibly over the next couple of days, uh, we could see the Windows 11 22H2 Moment 2 update, which will be the second wave of new features rolling out for Windows 11 22H2. And um, as mentioned previously, that could be rolling out over the next couple of days towards the end of February. And if not this month, then possibly next month in March. Now, because um, the Moment 2 update uh, could be upon us and could be rolling out over the next couple of days even, I thought just to do a quick overview and go through a list of new features uh, in Windows 11 22H2, which we could expect to see roll out in that Moment 2 update. And this is by no means a comprehensive list, but just some of the key highlights if you are interested. And um, I will be using the stable version, but I'm sure that by the end of the video, you will get the general idea. Now, in no particular order, um, and the first is to do with the system tray. Now, there's actually quite a bit going on with the system tray that we can expect to see roll out uh, in moment two. And the first is uh, an improved system tray where we'll have an option to hard. Uh, the show hidden icons menu which i think would be a great move and also you'll be able to drag and drop some of these uh, system tray uh, default system icons and um, you'll be able to drag those into the overflow and vice versa which you currently cannot do in the stable version and then um, there will also be an updated taskbar search experience with a new search box and i have posted on this quite in uh, depth and in detail but uh, just to recap quickly um, currently we just get this um, button which if you click on opens up the search now this uh, could possibly be changing to a search box and a search style very similar to windows 10 where um, you'll be able to do a search within the search box and you'll also get uh, the search highlights icon appearing to the right hand side which will enable you to click on the search highlights and also although it will be a search so-called box it will also have the fluent design so updated taskbar search with a new search box and then getting back to the system tray and um, there'll possibly be an option to show seconds uh, in the system tray clock which i think would be a nice um, add-on for some users and then a tablet optimized taskbar and i have posted on this as well quite depth in detail previously but just to do a quick recap um, you'll be able to collapse and expand um, the taskbar when using a tablet optimized touchscreen device and then um, getting back to the system tray as i mentioned quite a lot going on with the system tray you'll have uh, the um, new quick setting for windows studio effects and some of those uh, those um, updates rolling out could be for the actual sound where, where you could get um, some sound output settings directly found in the quick settings so new quick settings for windows studio effects and then um getting back to search um we could see a updated start menu search ui search box design which um will have rounded corners where currently that is has more the legacy square look so we could be getting rounded corners for the start menu search and possibly when you do a search um it will open up the search but the search won't be the size it is now it will um uh, be limited to the actual start menu the size of the start menu so um, the search will be getting rounded corners updated search you are and when you do a search the search will actually be the same size as the start menu and then um, widget improvements now to some extent a lot of these have rolled out to the stable version already so if we head over to the widgets um, as you can see I've already received the full screen widgets which you can collapse and expand and I have posted on this previously and also um, you'll be also be able to use widgets without signing in and I actually posted on that just a couple of days ago so uh, you'll be able to use the widgets without signing in using your Microsoft account and then um, task manager improvements which will include and this is one I'm actually looking forward to um, the task manager will get a new search box and a new search a feature here at the top which will enable you to search through uh, the process ids the different processes tasks and so on which i think will be a great move in the right direction for the task manager and is long overdue and also there'll be updates to the theming and uh, there'll be more user interface consistency so some updates rolling out to the task manager once again and then heading over to the settings and the accounts page now, Microsoft seems to be focusing a lot of their attention on this accounts page, uh, be that in the Windows 11 Insider program currently. 
and we can expect to see more improvements rolling out to the account settings with updated cloud storage section uh, where we could see um, more uh, quota storage limit settings for OneDrive and so on. So a lot of attention uh, by Microsoft on this accounts page, improved account settings with updated cloud storage section. And then um, staying in the settings, um, we can also expect to see um, minor settings updates. Too many to mention in this video, but there will be UI adjustments to the actual settings app and the user interface to some degree. And also an accessibility improvement where there will be better voice access improvements. And then the legacy snipping tool basically is going to be getting an update. And I have focused on this uh, in, deta in detail previously, but as many of you may know by now, we'll be getting a snipping tool screen recording function. So it won't just be able to take uh, screen snippets and captures. You will also be able to capture your screen uh, in video. So it'll be a screen video recorder. And I think this is long overdue. And it's about time that um, Windows 11 does get a native screen recording uh, functionality and option. So that's also a nice move in the right direction. And then the last but not least, but just to mention for the purpose of today's video, Notepad should be rolling out with tabs. And I have already downloaded and installed the preview. And I did post a whole video on how to do that. So if you would like to get the Notepad with tabs before the update rolls out, then just do a search on the channel for that. But obviously, uh, tabs in the Notepad, a nice handy option, very similar to tabs in the File Explorer. And you'll also be able to drag a tab and then open up a whole new window which if you are using uh, the notepad on a regular basis will be a great move and a, a nice move in the right direction, as I always say. So that's um, just a quick list and an overview of some of the features. As mentioned, not a comprehensive list, but some of the key highlights we can expect to see rolling out uh, in the Windows 11 22H2 Moment 2 update over the next couple of days, and if not over the next couple of days, next month in March. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.